ביאור משנה ד' זיז שלפני החלון think about it you on the second floor let's make it easier it's going to be on the second floor and outside of the second floor there's either like a shelf or a hook into the wall, a hanger into the wall, yeah. Yeah, it's usually, or, or something it would be a shelf, yeah. So ziz shelifnei achalon, a ziz that is in front, just outside of the window. Blita shel yad achalon, it's a protrusion. It doesn't really matter in the second floor, in the first floor, but our example is going to go better on the second floor because it needs to be higher than ten tefachim, as we're going to see soon. So let's see, I'm just using that example because it's, it's simpler. Yeah. Blita shal yad achalon hayotzet min hakotel ba'avir that goes out from the wall into the air. Which air? The public domain. Which means that the blita is not in, it's above the public domain. It's already in the public domain. Lemala me'asara tfachim in aretz. And it needs to be higher than 10 tfachim from the ground. וכבר הזכרנו, and we already mentioned, שאוויר רשות הרבים, that the air of the public domain, אינו נחשב רשות הרבים, is not considered public domain up to 10 טפחים. Only up to 10 טפחים it's public domain. בעוות, it's מקום פטור. אלא עד דרום עשרה טפחים. ואילו למעלה מעשרה טפחים, אבאב דה 10 טפחים, הרי הוא מקום פטור. It is a place called a place of פטור. No, 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 this is Mamash Ptur. Yeah, this is Mamash Ptur. Yeah, usually on Shabbat, when it says Ptur, Ptur aval asur. Over here, Ptur aval mutar. Yeah. Velefichach, kshahaziz hu lemala maasarat fachim, and therefore when the ziz, when this patrusion is above ten fachim, veyesh mosefim, shehu gam rochav arba tfachim, those who say that it needs to have also a width of four tfachim, ונמצא דינו כרשות היחיד. So we have to call this this a private domain. Because it has the four tfachim. It needs to, to if it has four tfachim, it's private domain. If it doesn't, it's something else. Ah, as you're going to see soon. Yeah. So what do you do with this kind yeah, of this? It's quite large, yeah. Yeah. You want something practical? In Rishut Rabim, it's Makom Ptur. From 3 to from 3 to 10, it's Karmelit. From 3 Tfachim to 10 Tfachim, it's Karmelit. Yeah. Or Rishut Rabim, it depends on the situation. Not Nima Lav, so what do you, you what, how, the question is, are you now, you have a shelf outside of your window. Are you allowed to use the shelf? Let's say, to put things, to take things, because this shelf is in the public domain. So, you're in the house. Not nimalav ve not limimeno be Shabbat. You put on him, and you take from it on Shabbat. It's not. It's not, but you still be allowed to. It's not, it's above the public domain. It belongs to the public domain. It's part of the house, and it's about, you can, if you want to be, um, to say, you build a fence, you know, like a marke, yeah. and it has four tfachim, it doesn't have the right measurement though, all, all the way, and it's above ten tfachim, and you want to take from this marke, from the second floor, are you allowed to? Yeah, the same thing, I just gave the example that's most common, but you can use any example you want. As long as it says in a public domain above ten tfachim, that's the case. Bnei oto abayit shaziz bolet mimeno. The people in the house that has this petrusion, mutarim laniach alav kelim derech halon. They're allowed to put on it vessels through the window, velitol mimeno pnima, and to take from it inside. Even though it's it's a wall outside, we use we said it was a shelf outside, but it can be a wall outside. Bagmara amru. In the Gemara, they said, don't jump so much to conclusion. It says, what, what's the idea? Because it's not in Rishut Arabim. What, when we say you're not allowed to take an object from the public domain and put it in the private domain, I'm not the I, it's not my domain. I, I, you're right. It's not my domain. 
the, the shelf or the wall is not in my domain, but you know what? It's not public domain either. It's called Macomb 2. And to take from Macomb 2 into the house, I'm allowed to. From Macomb 2 to the private domain, I'm allowed to. Yeah, I can. It's not a public domain anymore. Okay. But You yeah, have Macomb 2 to the public domain? domain? I think so also. Yeah. It's a good question, but he doesn't say it. I, I, no, I wonder okay, why. Yeah? Okay. Maybe you'll be allowed to. Hmm. Good question. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it's different tooling over there. To the house you're allowed to. Okay. We, you're going to see actually that it's not so easy soon. Okay, but yeah. Bagmaramru in the Gemara said that even though the... the the sages permitted to take from a comp tour to the private domain it says if you want to use it you're only allowed to use like clay parts or clay things things that if they fall are going to break that's the only things you're allowed to use it you're not allowed to use a ball of wood for example a spoon of wood i will not let you only things that are going to break only thing, yes, why? Kegon kosotu bakbukim, just like cups and bottles. She'af imiplu l'roshut arabim, because if those cups and bottles are going to fall into the public domain, en lachshosh shema yevio misham, you're not going to worry, because, hey, my cup fell, you're not going to think. My cup fell, I go get it, you're not going to think. Right. Now you know you're not going to, you're not going to, so they only permitted you to do it with things that you know that are going to fall. For sure they're going to break. And another thing. So that's the first reason. There's another reason. If I'm going to let you put anything on top of this uh, small ledge, yeah, you're just going to put stuff. You know, hey, here. You're just going to throw. And then you know what's going to happen? You're not going to do it carefully. And you go, it's going to fall into the public domain. And then you're obligated from the Torah. So it's like, it's a problem. What do you mean? I can just put it up there. People are not going to care. But if you put... Um, things that are, might get broken if they fall down, you're going to make sure that they're there nicely. You're not going to just going to chuck it out without caring and not worrying that it's going to go into public domain. You have to care because otherwise it's going to break. The odd she you know hagim bezi yirut shlo pular. It's this way. They're going to be very careful to put it in the right way so it won't fall into the ground. Aval kelim the Gemara says kelim sheinam shvirim vessels that are not, are not, cannot get broken easily. Asur liten al-aziz, you're not allowed to put it on this protrusion. Gzera shema yiplu l'reshut arabim. It's a decree, maybe they're going to come to fall into the public domain. And then, yavol letatela misham velach nisam abayta. Then you're going to come to take it from them and bring them back into your house. Hainu mereshut arabim l'reshut yachid. And then you'll are going to be chayav of taking an object from the public domain into the private domain. Shehu isum in Torah, and this is a prohibition from the Torah. Next. Omed adam bereshut hayachid. A person is allowed to stand in the private domain. Right? Bebeito ubechatsero. In his house or in his yard. Doesn't matter what. Let's use the other case from before even. The wall door is below ten tefachim. The, the wall that we discussed before is below ten tefachim. It's reshut arabim. But you, that's right. You standing in the window. You, are you allowed to take things inside? You're not allowed to because you're taking from reshut arabim to reshut yechid. But I don't want to take it inside. I just want to move the object on, on the thing from one place to another. I have a cup over here, and I have another cup over here. I want to change them. I want to put this cup over here and put this cup over there. But why go out from the shoe? No, it's, it's, they're, both staying, they're both staying in the public domain. I just want to move them in the public domain. Okay. So, Omed Adam Bereshut Yachid, a person is allowed to stand in the private domain, Bebeito Bechatsero, Umetaltel, and he's allowed to move objects Bereshut Arabim in the public domain. Yeah, he's not taking them inside the house. He's just moving them in the public domain. 
he's a, yeah, but he wants to move the objects in the public domain. Oh. There's obje an object in the public domain, he wants to move it. What's the problem? You're standing in, in, in private domain, you want to move stuff in and what you have a uh, hook, you tie them up to a hook. The, the, same, the, the same example as we gave before. You have a ledge out of your window. Right? Oh, but the ledge. Alone, yeah. The yeah, yes. Yeah, and he wants to move it, not into the house. He can't. But yeah. out, outside, he wants to. Let's say that he's standing out by the window and he's moving stuff outside the window. Very good. And the table outside. Should not. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That he takes an object over here and he places it over here. Obviously, if we are, we're not going to let him do it on a regular basis, like in, re, in a regular circumstances, because we're afraid he's going to take it in. But over here, we're not afraid he's going to take it in. Why? Let's say you're standing in your house and there are dirty pots with mud on them. You, we know you're not going to take them inside. They're dirty parts. You're not going to take them inside. But, so you're allowed to use them. If they're nice parts, we'll, we won't let you because we're afraid you're going to come. But over here, let's say we know for sure you're not going to take it inside. They're dirty. Okay? Yeah. And also the opposite end, the opposite way. And also a person stands in the public domain. He's allowed to... Exactly the opposite, that's right. Mikan lekan, from here to here. Ve'en choshishim shema yotzi misham l'reshut arabim. And again, it's a case where you're not worried it's going to take the object outside. Bagmara mevoar, in the Gemara it explains, shemedubar kan bekelim sheinoz dakuk lahem. It means that he's, he's moving objects that he doesn't need. That he can, he's not, he's, it's not needed for him to be used outside. For example, I don't know. Let's say it's raining outside, he's not going to take a book outside right now. Yeah, and he's moving books inside. You know for sure he's not going to take the book outside because it's raining outside. Yeah, but if it's raining outside and he wants to use an, a, to, a coat, we will not let him to move a coat inside because he might take the coat outside because he, he might have a need for it. You can move things that you know for sure is not going to want to be in that, That's right. Ubilvad, this is as long so this is if you now if you're in the public domain moving objects in the private domain you can move it as much as you want there's no distance but if you if you are in the private domain and you're moving objects in the public domain you have to make sure that you don't move the object more than four feet more than four amot because you're not allowed to move an object in the public domain more than four amot okay Public domain, you're allowed to move, no, you don't have to carry four amot in the public oh. domain. Oh, in the public domain. Yeah, in the public domain, you're not allowed to move yeah. more than four amot. Oh. As long as you're not allowed to take, as you move the object, less than four amot. So you can move it, three amot, leave it, then move it another three amot, but not at one time. If he's in the private domain and he's taking the object in the and he's moving the object in the public domain, is a hell. Shelo yotzi shem chefetz mechutz l'arba motav. He should be careful that he's not not to move the object out of the area of the four amot. Klomar shelo yetatzera shem ha'ela pachot me'arba mot. He's only allowed to move it less than four amot. On the other hand, you can move it as much as you can because you can. It's a private domain. There's no rules of how much you can move in a private domain. 